You're watching Weekends here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Just between you, me and the doorstop, but I think this thing's a little bit, uh, a little bit cooked. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, Saturday morning and uh, I am up here in Bendigo with uh, a bit of an undertaking ahead of me, shall we say. Alrighty, now you're probably wondering what this thing is, well it's the thermomagnetic lock for this Samsung washing machine and uh, yeah it got toasty um i think we could call this just a little bit cooked i mean it's it it's just a little cooked this is one of these metal flex um as you can see there zv 446l electric thermomagnetic door locks now i have a bit of a project with this um, suffice to say if I can get my hands on one of these I take this home all right um, I believe I can get these on eBay they are you're not gonna be able to read this but they are a metal flex ZV446 this is a T38, I think. Sorry, T85, right? Anyone who works with washing machines and that will be familiar with these. I think Be Becco use them. A um, couple of other washing machine companies. I think even Simpson used them at one stage. So I've got to find one of these. They're pretty cheap on eBay. But if I get one and get this going... This becomes my washing new washing machine. This is a Samsung AG Plus 7 Kilo uh, Behemoth. Um, works beautifully when this works. So, and if you're familiar with pulling washing machines apart, which I've done many times myself because I've always tried to fix my own washing machines. Getting the top off this is not always easy. Oh, hang on a minute. All right. So with these, you push it back. Um, now, I'm going to try and zoom in. Well, I mightn't have to, but I can see it. There it is there. All right. There it is there. So if I zoom into that, my camera will zoom in. Yeah, that's, that's toasty, isn't it? Look at that. Now, the funny thing is, it still powers up, okay? It still powers up quite well. So, you can see here we've got a bit of a house brick, a bit of concrete. There's a bit of concrete on the bottom. This one's not direct drive. This uses one of those high-speed universal motors. But it washes really well. It actually washes better than mine. It's a cold water in only, so it's a self-heater. They're the... Uh, heating elements but this works way better than my little simpson at home so i'm going to get one of those uh one of those um metal flex units and uh that's not on properly but anyway i'll fit it on better shortly but this is much better um than my existing washing machine it's a hell of a lot newer i mean my old my Simpson 5 kilo is just not big enough for the two of us. So um, I'll obviously clean it all up before I take it home. But if I get it going, I get this. So, And it's not that old. This is only a six-year-old washing machine. And 
Exhibit A, Your Honour, is already absolutely dead set in the Fair Income Department. A little bit cooked. I think I don't. What I think's actually happened is it hasn't been making a good connection. It's just been arcing and progressively getting worse. But uh, yeah, so got to get my hands on a. Uh, as I said, it's a ZV forty four six L T eighty five lock from uh, Metal Flex. And it's funny these. I was looking around on um, certain websites last night about how much some people are getting charged for some of these. So, but I was looking on eBay and that, and these are pretty cheap. They're like 20 bucks. So, and I've just got to make sure I get the one for 250. Well, what is it? 250, 240. Now this one's 250. Two fifty six amp close and two fifty one amp open. So I've got to get the right bit, but uh, yeah. So I mean, the mo this was made in I don't know two thousand and eight. So whether that's May the fourth or the fifth of April, I don't know. But I know the washing machine in itself is only six years old so because they only make they make just a, a batch of these things so if i can get it going i'll get my hands on a new washing machine um this is far more economical than my existing front loader as well uh, both with power and with water so there we go obviously you guys will see this once i'm home but uh that's um as you saw i put a photo of this if you're on the facebook group um, and the Patreon page, I put a photo up of this saying it was a little toasty. So there we go. So that's my, uh, that's my little, uh, I guess you could say restoration project. The other problem is with that plug, what I'm actually going to probably end up having to do rather than replace the plug is just get some, um, female spade terminals with rubber, um, protection across there and just plug it straight up as long as I match which wires go on to uh which plug so there we go old mate's got a little bit of a project coming up over the next few weeks to hunt down one of those then get back up here replace this and then get it uh, get it home there we go hopefully you're having a good weekend and i uh, obviously you'll see this when i get home have a good one guys cheers